Welcome back to Movie Recap. Today I will tell you about a movie called The Skin I Live In. As usual, just leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button as it really helps. Plastic surgeon Robert Ledger was successful in cultivating an artificial skin resistant to burns and insect bites, which he calls Gal, that he says he has been testing on a thing of mice. He presents his results in a medical symposium, but when he privately discloses he has also conducted illegal transgenic experiments on humans, he is forbidden to continue with his research. On his secluded estate though, Ledger is keeping a young woman named Vera captive, with the help of one of his servants, Marilia. Due to the suspension of his official experiments, Robert asks Marilia to dismiss the other servants. While Robert is out, Marilia's estranged son Zika, having committed a robbery, arrives in a tiger costume, and asks his mother to hide him for a few days. He sees Vera on Ledger's security camera screens and demands to see her in person. When Marilia refuses to let him stay after she invites him in, he binds and gags her and then takes advantage of Vera. Robert arrives and kills Zika. While Robert disposes of Zika's body, Marilia tells Vera that she is the mother of both Zika and Robert by different men, a fact she has not shared with them. Robert was adopted by Marilia's employers but was ultimately raised by her. Zika later left to live in the streets and smuggle drugs, while Robert went to medical school and married a woman named Gal. When Zika came back years later, he and Gal ran off together. They were involved in a terrible car crash in which Gal was badly burnt. Zika had left the scene assuming her to be dead, while Robert had taken her from the car. Thereafter she lived in total darkness without any mirrors. One day, while hearing her daughter Norma singing in the garden, Gal accidentally saw her own reflection in the window, traumatized by the sight, she jumped to her death. In the present, Robert returns and spends the night with Vera. During the night, he dreams of his past, specifically the night of a wedding six years earlier, where he finds Norma, his daughter unconscious on the ground. Norma, who had been taking medication for psychosis having been rendered mentally unstable due to witnessing her mother's death comes to believe that Robert had taken advantage of her upon awakening with him above her, she subsequently develops a fear of all men, and spends years in a mental health facility. She eventually takes her own life in the same manner that her mother did. Vera, too, dreams about the same event. Vicente, a young man who works in his mother's dress shop, crashes the wedding and meets Norma. Like others at the party, he is under the influence of drugs. He walks with Norma into the garden. She lists the psychiatric medication she has taken. Norma begins to take off some of her clothes, stating she would be naked all the time if she could. Vicente kisses her and compliments her. While they are lying down with Vicente on top of her, she suddenly starts to have a frantic reaction to the music playing the same song she was singing when her mother took her own life and starts screaming. Vicente attempts to hush her screams, leading to her biting his hand. He slaps her, knocking her unconscious. He rearranges her clothes and flees the scene, looking around nervously for potential witnesses, just before Robert arrives. He is unaware that Robert notices him leaving on his motorbike. Robert tracks down Vicente and has him knocked off his motorbike, kidnaps him, and holds him in captivity. His mother's search for him remains unsolved. Meanwhile, Robert subjects him to a medical surgery and later instructs him how to get used to his new body parts. Over a period of six years, Robert physically transforms Vicente into a replica of his late wife, and renames him Vera, with his hair now bald and giving him real feminine breasts, real feminine buttocks and a real female voice. During this period of time, Vicente struggles to keep himself sane and cling to the core of his true identity. After an absence of four years, Marilia returns to work in Robert's house to look after Vera. Vera reveals to Marilia that he has been held captive for the last six years. Back in the present, Robert's new relationship with Vera dismays Marilia, who does not trust Vera. Fulgencio, one of Robert's colleagues, reads a news story about the missing Vicente, and recognizes him as one of their gender change patients. He accuses Robert of falsifying Vicente's consent and of experimenting on him. Vera suddenly stands there and supports Robert, asserting his willing participation and states that he had always been a woman, before noticing his photograph attached to the news story. During the night, Robert and Vera are having a hormone party, but Vera tells him that it is painful. Under the guise of going downstairs to find lubricant, she retrieves Robert's gun and kills Robert. Marilia, alerted by the sound of the shot, goes in with her own pistol in hand, and finds her son Robert dead on the bed. She then too gets shot by Vera, who was hiding under the bed, and says with her dying breath, I knew it. Freed from captivity and the need to play along with Robert's whims, Vicente returns to his mother's dress shop for the first time since being kidnapped, tearfully tells his ex-colleague Christina, whom Vicente had loved six years prior, of his kidnapping, forced change, and the murders. Then, as his mother enters the room, Vicente quietly reveals his identity to them in the final line of the film. I am Vicente. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the movie. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more movies. You can check out my other videos here.